Yet another spooky Saturday night. Nukes is back. Finally! So maybe I'll find something in here that'll entertain me. When he takes a hiatus, I can tell. And I guess he was in the hospital again? Mm. Or something? Because the title of this one is So Scary He Had to Have Emergency Surgery. <laughs> What's going on with you, Nuke? Yeah. You good, bruh? We miss your content, man. So make sure you uh, stay healthy. Stay healthy, man. Let's do this. River's Edge. Cambodian Paranormal Investigation Team RC Fun TV oh, team travels to River's an Edge. allegedly haunted area along the bank of a river. The locals tell stories of many horrible incidents that have taken place in this small area, right at the river's edge. First, it is said that a young boy was swept away in a mudslide in this area, and sadly, he perished in the flood. Another yeah. tale recounts that a man took his own life at the river's edge. That's what you want. And then, even more tragedy, because the graves of several children can be found here, oh. buried along the river bank. Bruh. Because this spot has such a horrible history, the RC Fun TV team decides to leave offerings and prayers for any distressed spirits that might be unable to move on to the other side. You'll probably get that piece of and property for pretty after cheap. their offerings, the paranormal investigators spot something truly terrifying. What is that? Okay, it was like that. Bruh? What is that? Looks like the tree had a nipple. He's naked. At least he looks naked. And there he goes. <laughs> Why do people have the worst flashlights? The investigators spot what appears to be a man sitting on the edge of the river. But something is very off about the mysterious figure. The man is extremely pale and his face is unrecognizable. What is that? When the team attempts to get closer, the stranger disappears underwater, never to be seen again. The RC Fun TV team say that they might have just seen the spirit of the man that took his own life. I don't on the know what that was. Or perhaps even the boy that drowned in the flood. Or a person. Is it real? How does that look like a person? Just an elaborate hoax. Because it's got arms and legs and a torso. Yeah, do you see his face? Yeah, they it's can, late in the afternoon when a CCTV camera could be in the camera angle, angle, you don't know. Captures a you don't know his life? Walking home from his story? What happens God. next is absolutely for everything. chilling. Oh, I've seen this one. The dog protects this person. About to be a napping. alleyway when a silver Nissan pulls up to the teenager and a man can be seen talking to the girl with a weapon in his hand. Yeah, it definitely looks like him. terrified and instinctively uh -huh. walks backward away from the car. When the men then back up their car to follow her, suddenly a little stray dog comes running out of nowhere and aggressively Guardian starts Angel, barking man. at the dangerous strangers. The little dog effectively saves the teenage girl from what we can only assume would have been a horrible fate. Yep, yeah. she needs to adopt that dog. dog yep. Viral on the internet, with many people giving praise to the stray for recognizing the threat and protecting a complete stranger from harm. The outdoor now, dogs source, are awesome. I unfortunately don't know what happened to the little dog after it ran out of frame. But as for the footage, it just goes to show again 
that human beings are always scarier than any ghost yep, or spirit. Facts. Yep. Not a helping hand. This next video was posted to Facebook by Marla Teixeira Hernandez from Richmond, California. Marla says that she was rearranging some furniture in her son's bedroom and recorded a video of the room's final look to show to her daughter. But when she watches her video back, she spots something downright chilling. What was Marla that? She was completely like alone in the room when what appears to be a little hand can be seen moving behind her son's cabinets. Even creepier, viewers pointed out that a man's voice seems to quietly whisper, don't be afraid to die. Oh, that's great. Oh, God. Now, Marla posted the video to Facebook in hopes of getting any thoughts or ideas on what she might have I don't captured. know about that. She says that other than one strange incident with a fan switch turning itself off and on in her son's room, she's never really experienced anything paranormal in the house. So what do you think this is? Before we move on to the next video, if you Got no see answer anything for that, that one. you think should be included in the top five, see Nuke at least vets a lot of his stuff where it's at least watchable and, of the third kind. You know, makes the you wonder. is a very old it video is. from the depths of the internet. Source unknown. So, a group of friends are hanging out, drinking and having a good time in the woods of Flacy, France. Suddenly, they spot what they believe to be a dog hiding behind a tree. Vous avez vu un truc encore bouger? Bon, toi là. Il y a un truc là-bas? Il y a un truc derrière là. Minou, 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 j'ai trouvé de ta mère. Love the subtitles. Putain. Inaudible. Yeah. Il est mignon le chat. Hey, il est un peu gros le chat. J'aime pas ça. Je me barre. Oh non? Bah y a un. That is not a dog. Almost look like a huge possum. Yeah. <laughs> With arms, like hands, like that. You just throw the so fire at it. Yeah. Can be seen moving around behind the tree. Oh, like an anteater or something. An unusually large skeletal head. The video abruptly cuts, and what happens next remains a mystery. I like that ET finger. How do these things always remain alien? mysteries? You see some crap like or this, and there is no follow-up. Is that just none? Look! Let look at the ET finger. Yeah. Hunting Where a unknown. real flashlight and a pistol come in. Paranormal here. investigator Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown sets out to investigate Hunting a restaurant in England you. that's been abandoned for over 20 years. The owners of the restaurant are said to have abruptly fled the property after being tormented by severe paranormal activity. <laughs> the abandoned and broken down structure is located deep in the middle of the woods. And Alex is all alone. There's that music Duke plays that always gets us demonetized, and I have to take it out. Mm. After setting it's up a that motion song. detecting music box in the bar section of the restaurant, Alex already begins to experience strange activity. I've got a music box set up at the moment. Oh, sweet. Just doing a little walkthrough. Hello? A static camera captures the moment a door slams by itself. But things are about to get even weirder. Alex decides to do a spirit box session in the hopes of catching some paranormal activity. Where are you? Can you give me a sign, please? Baked cookies. Oh, you know. What the f Alex asks for a sign. And bottles sitting there in the bar go. seem There's to be sign. pushed over on their own. But it's when he takes a closer look at the bottles that he captures something truly disturbing. Tell us. I don't understand how these were knocked down. 
it's crazy, I don't understand it, this. I'm pretty sure this is like that. Hello? Bruh. Where is your flashlight? You're taking it a lot better than yeah. I would. Be quiet. <laughs> the dark silhouette of a figure can be seen standing in a room. Four minutes right star paper. Silent moment. Now, Alex doesn't notice the figure at first, but when he moves towards the door, he realizes that something is not quite right. He inspects the room to make sure no one is there, but he gets the unsettling feeling that he's being watched. Alex no longer feels safe in the remote building and all by himself. So he decides to just get out of there. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos. Yeah, I see a person's silhouette. Channel, it's time for something. The unknown. Getting out of there is probably a good idea cave. if you're not prepared. Japanese paranormal investigators Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke are contacted by one of their viewers about a bizarre picture they took in an allegedly haunted cave in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. The picture shows what appears to be a woman peeking from a rock inside the caves. The location is said to be a paranormal hotspot. Many visitors claim to have seen the mysterious apparition of a lady in a white dress. All and white. Always. It's late at Black night when the clip store team carefully make their way deep no face. underground it's into kinda... the cave system to search for the spot where the photo was it's taken. Always the woman in the white dress. <laughs> まじ膝限界でさ。なんかわしきトイレでトイレしてるこんな感じじゃない。あ、わかる。わし。え、the clip store team manages to find the exact location of the photo. But now, with all three members so cramped in such a tiny cave tunnel, Yasuke and Daichan decide to head back out and wait in the car. <laughs> you you on your own. Yeah, and I look man. Have fun with the strange. crazy woman in white. Gachan has been in the Get us some good stuff. For about 20 minutes. When this happens. And she grabbed him, pulled him in. Hey, 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 while sitting in the dark, Kachan is a little freaked out when he suddenly hears what sounds like a woman crying from somewhere deep within the caves. I hate to be the party pooper here. Meanwhile, but those are caves. It could be an animal in the way the echo carries. Terrifying. やっぱなんていうかな。やっぱ寒気まあ、その洞窟っていうのもあるけど、やっぱそこがすごいよね。そうね。なんか雰囲気が違うもんね、やっぱ。ね。うん。あと、コウモリエグかったね。あ、良か
Hey. Y'all heard that whisper, right? It'd be great if there was if that was their friend just messing with them. The third Did buddy outside the car messing Someone with them. can be seen sitting right outside the passenger seat window, just watching Daichan then there are two loud bangs. One I was the looking at that, but I didn't even notice front. it. As the camera pans back toward the, the Harry Potter window, dude, we can see that the creepy the figure corn. seems to have disappeared. The one that led the bad but guys. Oh, the Lord! All that happened no. that night, because Maybe. early on, yeah. back in the caves, that there is was not that something wrinkly. else. Come on, the man! It's that one Rick man. Show some respect. The <laughs> Their viewers pointed out R. R. that something else might have been there with them. Watch again. I prefer the Galaxy Quest. Not in Die Hard. Uh, oh, do it someone again. or something can be seen moving up above them as if following them down into the caves. But the clip store guys don't see or hear anything. So could it be that they had an encounter with the strange apparition of the woman in white that haunts this area? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. Hmm. Graveyard Shift. TikTok user Veronica is working the night shift on the second floor of the Baylor Scott and White Medical Center in Rowlett, Texas. Suddenly, they start to experience something truly creepy. I've always said, Something was gonna be haunted. It's gonna be a hospital. I mean, that's where people die. Did you lots hear her? daily. Yes. And you got Did a you morgue. I heard it. So I see them so we we're we walk them up. We walk them up. I think I'm her mom. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? I heard a little hum. <laughs> Veronica and her coworkers hear the sound of someone humming or singing. Did you hear her? Yes. Mm hmm. Hear her? Mm -hmm. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Come on. And a door opens by itself. Night shift worker Veronica explains that she believes that several ghosts haunt the Baylor Hospital. Well, I'm sure. But she says that one of them. The ghost of a young girl can often be heard laughing and singing throughout the hallways, as if trying to reach out to the staff. So is the hospital haunted by the spirit of a young girl? Let me know what you think. The mysterious mannequin. Why does it gotta be a young girl? Not mannequins. The user, the truth 444. No. The video shows a tourist in Paris stopping at the storefront of the famous and very controversial brand Balenciaga. What? The woman notices something in the store window that is truly disturbing. Okay, people, tell me something. Oh no. So this is a store in Paris. This is a man's store in Paris, and this is a. Um, I think it was alive. That they say that they made this <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody dead and bomb. Mm -hmm. Look at his hand. Wait, I'm doing it through the hole. Look at the boy hands. Look, the hands. His 
hands. He does though. His hands is as real as mine. The woman is freaked out by a mannequin that looks just a little bit too real. But things are about to get even weirder. Watch closely. If anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How you if I have this man in the store sit down? Look. Look at that. You see? This this is freaking crazy. Look at the look in the guy eye. And them said they made this mannequin. And put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy freaking face. He's in Paris. If you know anyone that missing a black son, look like this. He's in Paris in the store in the window. The mannequin suddenly appears to be looking directly at the woman. Viewers of the Bruh. video are creeped out by the sudden change mm -hmm. in position, and some even swear they could see the mannequin blinking. The video gets a massive amount of attention as viewers begin what to make really wild claims that the multi-billion dollar fashion I mean, brand Paris. has like Paris fashion people are models. weird. And that the mannequin isn't a mannequin at all, but is in fact a missing model by the name of Christopher Tyler. The claims become even stronger after Christopher Tyler seems to drop offline. He stops modeling, and mysteriously his Instagram account is suddenly set to private. Dude, he looks just like People him. People became so disturbed by the ultra lifelike mannequin's resemblance to model Christopher Tyler that Chris had to actually post an Instagram live addressing that he was safe and actually very much alive. Like, I appreciate everybody concerned, but, you know, <laughs> you can't fit into whatever you see on the internet. Nah, you a clone, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fake page. They told me. <laughs> everything. Everything in the book. Everything in the book. But all of this really doesn't explain why this creepy mannequin seems to stare at this tourist who gets too close. Yeah, those eyes did shift. Visitor. Yeah. This next creepy video That's was posted creepy. to the internet without a source. It is said that the video was taken by a patient in a hospital yeah. in Indonesia. Allegedly, he recorded the video to reassure his friends and family that he's safe and in good hands. But when he looks back at his own footage, he sees something so disturbing that he no longer feels safe at all. What? A dark figure veiled in black can be seen watching over another patient. Death. Now, that on its own is not that scary. But the man yeah, recording is. the video claims that there was no one there at the time. He says that there was no dark figure. Yeah. Now, many viewers of the video have said that the eerie figure appears to be floating and that they believe the apparition might be the Grim Reaper, patiently yeah. awaiting the patient's death. But... I'll leave that up to you to decide. Thank you so much for Where's watching. If you side? haven't already subscribed, do it now. And then also oh, turn on cool. all notifications so you never... Newt never disappoints, man. I don't know if I saw anything that would make me a true believer, but there were some good ones. It's going to be really hard to convince this guy. Very. It's not fair. He comes up with stuff. Well, I mean, I've had experiences in my past that you guys would flip out over and... I just try to think of a logical way. And there's no logical way to explain the stuff that's happened to him. Yeah, you can. No, there's not. Except for the one. There's one thing that happened that I still cannot to this day. And explain. nobody else can either. It was interesting. And it was based in a place that was supposed to be haunted. And there were a couple of things that happened while I was visiting this location that has always made me interested in the paranormal. That's why I watch this stuff. And I just always think there's a logical reason. And I just don't. I don't think people die and stick around to slam cabinets and create shadows. I don't know. I just can't buy most of this stuff. And I'm, I'm asking you guys, if you know of a video that to you, that's the one that's going to convince him, get it in the comments. We'll go look it up and we'll react to it. And I'll give you my honest opinion as a true skeptic. And if I can't think of anything, then you're welcome to just go, ha ha, told you so. Like, share, subscribe, do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro. The bro down is over. Let's bro out.